outside, the city lights glimmer in the night. In the posh apartment, the gray-haired man glares at the trembling urn. I don't understand why did you have to buy this piece of junk. Junk? It's an antique. Antique? It's a piece of junk from a flea market. The urn's lid flies off and black ash shoots from its open top. The ash cloud hovers, then descends, forming a human figure. As the sooty apparition dons a top hat, he morphs into Horvath with his Victorian-era garb, dark eyebrows, and goatee. I'm not the first one out. Smoke puffs from his mouth. The wife faints. That's a yes. He lifts the urn. Uh, ten years are up. Belf is off. He carries it to a window. When I get the grim hold from young David, I'll tell him you said hello. He tosses it outside. Cheerio, Balthazar. As the urn plummets, another stream of ash flies from it. Balthazar struggles to free himself. Succeeding, he grabs a windowsill. The urn smashes on the ground. Now, Balthazar steps onto a sidewalk. He glances at a crowd gathered around the broken urn. Moving away, Balthazar stops and stares at the Chrysler building, its illuminated crown a gleam in the night sky. Later, he strides to one of its steel Art Deco eagles mounted on a high corner. He places his open hand on its back, and the metal surface ripples. Meanwhile, Dave enters his apartment, flips on a lamp, and sets down his belongings. As he opens the fridge and peeks inside, Horvath watches from the other room. Squinting, Dave notices a report put up on his fridge. It reads, David Stutler, 4th grade, B-, minus, The Life of Napoleon Bonaparte. I thought B- minus was generous. I've recently been released from a 10-year sentence, during which the only reading material available to me was your so-called report on Napoleon Bonaparte from your school bag. Your analysis was obvious. Your prose was weak. I was nine. Irrelevant. Where's the Grimhold? That doll you took from the shop. The doll held something very powerful, something very important to me. You had it last. I want it back. Listen, I'm... I'm... I threw it in the street. Where's the Grimhold? It's been a long time. I don't actually know where it is. Horvath stretches out his hand and a knife flies into it. I'll cut the truth out of you. Dave bolts for the closed door. He runs into it, falls, then stands and races outside. Horvath spots Bennett's wolf calendar. Sweet. As Dave races down a stairwell, he pauses and looks at his apartment. His jaw drops as wolves round the corner. Wolves? <laughs> He hurries outside. Dave rushes up some stairs, then stops on a landing and watches the wolves advance past the man entering the apartment building. Reaching a revolving subway station door, Dave swipes his card. The wolves pursue. Thank you. He pushes through the turnstile, which locks after him. One wolf leans upright on the revolving door's bars. Dave sprints away. Now a wolf pushes open a door and leads the others onto a subway platform. Horvath enters behind them. Dave hides on the sunken subway tracks. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. He looks across the track and sees a wolf sneering at him. He runs and the pack gives chase. He trips and falls on his back. Horvath addresses the wolves. Kill him. As the wolves leap for Dave, he closes his eyes. Two puppies land on his chest. Puppies? As Horvath shifts his eyes, a giant talon knocks him over. He tumbles off the platform and onto the tracks. Dave gapes as the steel eagle lands on the tracks. Balthazar looks down. Where's the doll, Dave? Horvath rises. Uh, uh, him, 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 him. Balthazar hurls a watery orb at Horvath, which super slows him. All right, get up here now. Now, hurry. Dave glances at an approaching train. Balthazar commands a newspaper to fly flat onto the train driver's window. As Dave climbs onto the eagle, Balthazar turns the helpless wolf puppies back into photos. The steel eagle takes off, escaping the train. As the slowness spell on Horvath dissipates, he quickly dives off of the tracks. He stares after Balthazar. Now at the Chrysler building, pigeons flutter off the balcony as giant metal talons grip its wall. Dave climbs off the eagle. 